Cars and bikes. I'm Jenny Carter. Um, I'm married to Andy here. And we've got two kids, uh, Liv and Hayden. They're 10 and 9 years old. Six years ago, I was diagnosed with chronic lymphocytic leukaemia. Andy's lymph nodes in your neck were sore, weren't mm. they? And it was just from a cold. And went to the doctor, got a blood test done. And then I still remember the phone call to say, hey, they think I've got lymphoma. We just put our heads in the sand and tried to ignore it until Andy was in hospital three times. And I remember actually too being in the oncology department and going, we shouldn't be here. This shouldn't be happening to us. This happens to other people. So my treatment consisted of six rounds of chemo over six months. The effects on me were initially quite severe, but responded very quickly and recovered well. Over time, it actually became more of an issue for me that I was having more side effects from the drugs. The, the hardest thing for me was watching the effects on the family when I was sick. I, I found actually that um, the Leukaemia Foundation were really helpful because Deborah Tomlin from Leukaemia Foundation, she was the first person that actually was interested in us as a whole. So she spoke to me about, you know, well, how, how are you talking to the kids? What do they know what's going on? And she said to me to be very to be open and honest with them because kids know something's going on and they need to understand you know, that dad is sick. I want to do Shave for the Cure not just for fundraising but to raise awareness and also being part of our community and resilience and courage within it. So people can come along, either donate some money or maybe Shave for a Cure themselves. Today's the big day. I'm a bit nervous actually. Response has been absolutely amazing. I just checked our um, team leaderboard page and we've already raised over $14,000. A group in our community has really come together uh, to pull it all into quite a big event. We've got some pretty inspirational people who are going to come up on the stage on these seats here. They're stepping out of their comfort zone. Um, it is show for cure and what we really want to get out of tonight is, is a couple of things around support, um, it's around awareness and it's around communication.